Hello out there, friends of the written word. My guest tonight is the author of the famous book series Hereafter, Lilith Winterbottom. Lilith, how much longer do we have to wait for the last book? Still can't get the images out of my head. Must focus. This time, I'm on my own. Dead end. Well, well. If this isn't the priest. Again? I can't believe it. <laughs> Fascist. Timmy! Na wunderbar. Ooh, Grandma, I'm a ghost. <laughs> it's so you are. Oh, you little rascal. <laughs> oh, hell. <help>. You. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Who do me Marshall? <laughs> Gretchen. Gretchen. All right, Mum, all set. So, when are you seeing the doctor? Dr. Barrymore? Uh, tomorrow sometime, I think. Oh, don't worry, love. It's only a diabetes check, right? <laughs> Come on, Timmy, give your old grandma a hug. All right, let's go. Come on. Nice room. Hmm. Bright. Oh, will your family be visiting, Mrs. Um... I don't have family. Oh, I'm sorry. I, it's just I, I couldn't do without my loved ones. Interesting. Sorry? Interesting that you haven't told your loved ones about your disease then. <sighs> Dr. Barrymore isn't really an expert on diabetes, now is he? On the other hand, he's an excellent gastroenterologist. So I reckon pancreas, right? It's nothing. It's just routine. That's why people leave this place feet first. Then why are you here? Lung cancer. What are we talking about, Doctor? Best case scenario. We might be able to buy you some more time. I know this is hard for you, Mrs. Marshall. Why don't you take a couple days to think about it? Talk it through with your family? Thank you, Doctor. But um, I, I don't think we should poach on the Lord's territory, right? <laughs> An angel. And then, then, light. Hallelujah! 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 Let he who is without sin cast the first stone, right? What are you writing, anyway? Your memoirs? My bloody testament. You really shouldn't swear so much, you know. It's quite rude.
Why don't you get some sleep, huh? Come on, Lil. It's not her fault you're stuck. You're just upset because she believes in something. I'm upset because I've got a bloody book to finish. And time isn't exactly on my side. Dead end. So you arrest me now? No. Not after what you did to Catherine. Oh, that. It's just an accident. Oh, no, of course, certainly. Like under clear glass. And the foundations were... For the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. Well, we have another two more hours left on this show. So, um, are you ready for some tough talk? Yes, I'm a oh, You sure you're all right? Lily, Lended. um, we've been Couldn't hearing be better. Some serious health issues. So, how are you? I'm very well. I'm alive and God. kicking. That's very good to hear. So, um, I read the book. What? And, um... He's such a wonderful character. How he's constantly torn between his faith and his love for Catherine. <sighs> so, is it true what they say, that this is your final volume? Ah. Oh. <sighs> right, right. Um... You know, if if I could help you in any way, I mean, I've got I've got lots of ideas. I got to get rid of that woman. So you stoop so low as to steal this? Knowledge is power. Ha! Pancreas, tumor. I knew it. So, you still won't finish your book. How many times have you rewritten that final chapter now? Huh? For you, you ungrateful wretch. To give you the perfect send-off. Don't pretend you're doing me a bloody favor. You already had me stabbed and buried. Yesterday it was a bull in the teeth, so now what? You're gonna throw me off a fucking roof? Oh, for Christ's sake, don't be such a sissy. You should laugh in the face of death. Are we still talking about me here? No. Just kill me and be done with it. Hello, love. Yes, yes. No, fine, fine. Yeah, don't worry about your old mum. No, no, I, I haven't seen him yet. You shall not lie. Tell me about my little angel. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, darling. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah? All right. Bye. See you. Bye. Uh, oh, to me. Shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Drink. Not after what you did to Catherine. What about if I say, uh, children, look on the bright side. Your mother isn't going to die of diabetes. Stop whining. You're not dead yet. Look at me. You, you want to know what they call me around here? Hmm. An outlier. I'm a mathematical improbability. <laughs>
<laughs> you are a tough old bag, I'll grant you that. <laughs> you know what they say, it ain't over till the fat lady sings. Wait and see what happens after your surgery. Thank you, but no thank you. I'd rather let our Lord decide when my time is up. The Lord. The Lord doesn't give a rat's ass either way. It's your decision. Yours alone. Well, you read my file. What are the odds? At least you've got a choice. I wish I was that lucky. Screw the odds. You might be an outlier just as well. Think about it at least. Think about your family. My family? What do you know about family? This belonged to my son. Is he? I had no idea. Can you keep a secret? <laughs> to the grave, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> Wait, that's... that... Is that...? I tried to find comfort in faith, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. So instead, I began to write this. So that's why he has to die. Oh, now I see the problem. I'd give anything to see him once more, only once to tell him. Lilith, you're wrong about one thing. You do have a choice, like me. It's your book. Yours alone. So you rest me? Not this time. Accident. Imagine a great dane. When I think of a dog, I think of lots of hair everywhere. And dog snow when it gets wet. Oh. And it won't be house trained, of course. And where do we leave it during the holidays? <laughs> or would you take care of the dog, Mom? Huh? Esther, love, will you sit with me a minute? I'm coming back. Oh, next week. Could you post this for me? Have you finished it? I didn't seal it. 